As you probably noticed I did not post a video last week and that is because I am going through a pretty hard time in my life. I spent last week with um, some friends that love me and support me but the last thing that I wanted to do was show up this week in a way that's um, not authentic but there's a few things that I'm ready to do and a few things that I haven't been doing and that I know I need to do because they all make me feel good. Mm. And those things are eating, <laughs> moving my body, and creating. God, here she comes Woman that I love It's too bad she'll never know Yeah, I can't tell her how I feel Because she has someone who makes her happy I'm a ghost in these walls Or at least I try to be Good morning. two miles on and do this loop. I just passed a few people at the trailhead and they said that um, they passed a rattlesnake here on the trail so I'm gonna watch out for him but also I kind of hope that I see him. <laughs> so no rattlesnake yet but heal. No rattlesnake for you, my girl. <laughs> You're so good. Movement begets movement. And I think that that can apply to so many things in our life and not necessarily just physical movement. Perfect example is me adding two miles onto my hike right now. This hill is making me regret it a little bit. <laughs> the hike was great. And I felt really weak during it because it's been really hard for me to eat. And I've been soaking those beans all day. So tonight I am going to nourish my body because I said I would. And I'm going to make some homemade soup. I know. I know. I think she might know it's dinner time. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha 
How does she know the time? I don't understand. Let's leave the past behind Walk with me There's something else we need to find Say you go I think it's ready Don't make me wait There's no need to If you haven't already noticed, I'm at a campground and I don't usually spend time at paid campgrounds and I know where I want to go next, a place in Colorado that I feel really, really drawn to. So I'm deciding to leave early in the morning, but I also feel like I kind of want to say goodbye to this place, <laughs> as corny as that might sound. So there is this really beautiful little place that I found when I was wandering around the waterfalls. So I'm gonna go back there with Aquila and muster up the courage to jump in. <laughs> this is my little spot. <laughs> How beautiful. I have my little itty bitty towel here. <sighs> it's cold. And I don't like cold water. I got in late last night, like almost midnight, but I just wanted to push through and just be here 
for the first part of this morning, I was in an area that I didn't love, but I was eyeing this spot all morning. There was an older gentleman cleaning fish for like three hours right here, and he just moved. So Akil and I just scored this spot, and I absolutely love it. Hi, are you having fun? Just got done working out here. And this is our own little spot. I think when these people leave, we're gonna pull down there so she can have kind of that beach. So this is the beautiful little spot that I have. You can't come flying in here with wet feet, okay? You gotta jump nicely on that rug, okay. There you go, no, no, not on the bed, okay. On the bed. Basically, I'll be uh, sleeping and eating uh, sand, so it's <laughs> good. So this is gonna be home for the next few days. Oh my child, I know You hurt and you can't let go It's not your fault and you don't deserve All the bad and the hurt So, I haven't pulled out the camera at all this week. I'm just focusing on resting and feeling. But I needed to take the camera out for this thing. Because if you guys are unaware of what Hopper is, it's, a, it's an app that tracks flights. And I've been tracking um, a flight to Iceland for months now. For this late fall. And um, as far as I knew the flights were supposed to get to like 650 670 dollars that's kind of what i was waiting for if you know until i decided like if i want to do that or not if that's like feasible for me financially and so i was on the phone with my mom get this notification and the flights dropped to 490 dollars round trip to iceland i've not bought it yet i have selected my um outbound and returning flights still just very nerve-wracking but I also really feel like I need to do this for me because I've wanted to do this trip for a really long time. Here we go. I cannot believe I'm doing this. <sighs> you still on the phone? No, it's here. No. How are you doing, are you doing it? <laughs> so funny is Gary came down and we were talking about the day and he's like what have you been have you been working and I was like yeah I've been doing nothing I was like but I did get a notification that my Iceland flight dropped like hundreds of dollars and it's only 490 and he was like 490 I was like yeah do you think I should do it? he's like absolutely <laughs> like you should absolutely do it book it right now <laughs> okay <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna love it. I know. I'm not even gonna get. I'm not even gonna care about being cold because I'm gonna love it so much. Yeah, it's so raw. Yeah. You will like. I know you've heard me say it so many times, but you'll really know when you're there and be like, "Oh yeah, this is like a raw landscape." It's cool. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. All the good 